Hi, this is Diana for Get Out There Magazine, and I'm here at... Slide in the City! Woo! Why go for a walk in the park when you can slide through it? Slide the City made its debut in Toronto this weekend with a thousand foot slip and slide at Dansview Park. Sliders registered for a single slide, a triple slide, or an unlimited slide package. A mouth guard and a handy drawstring bag to carry your stuff down the slide was part of registration. The mandatory inner tube was also included in the multi-slide packages but could also be purchased on site. I arrived there pretty early which was key in avoiding the big lineups later in the day. Sliders were dressed the way they would for a day in the water park and shoes were allowed on the slide. Slide the City's slide was much more exciting and comfortable than any slip and slide from my childhood days. The entire slide is padded on the bottom not only for comfort but safety. There were also volunteers stationed all throughout the slide who helped give sliders a little push whenever needed. The event was in support of the Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Toronto with the money raised from inflating the tubes going straight to charity. In addition to their charity work, did you know that Slide the City are also Guinness World Record holders for the longest distance travelled on a slip and slide? Although there were some flat sections at the Toronto slide, everyone I talked to said they had a lot of fun. One of the reasons why the Toronto event wasn't on city streets was because of a certain sporting event already in town, but I'm sure with the popularity from this year's event, we'll be slipping and sliding in Toronto again. Slide the City was the perfect event for one of the first heat alert days of the year. Celebrate summer in the city by sliding down the longest slip and slide of your life at the biggest water party of the year. Start keeping an eye out for fun giant inflatables because you'll want to have them ready for the next slide in the city. See you there!